We're standing here right now with Mike Peterson from 3DB. I'm over here at Infocom. It's the first day in Orlando. Uh, we're standing in front of an absolutely incredible uh, piece of technology that, that they have here, which enables 2D video to be shown in 3D uh, in incredible quality. It's just the depth. I, I, I could talk about it all day, but I'm going to let Mike talk about it first. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Um, tell us a little bit about 3DB. So uh, 3DB is a company that uh, is really new. In fact, uh, we only registered about two and a half weeks before CES back in January. Um, so. As a company, we're, uh, let's see, what is this? This is um, June, so we're six months old. Okay. Um, as far as the development, we've been developing for about nine months before that, so. So you went through the fetal period and then you came out, you guys were born, now six months, you're in infancy. But the technology is incredible. Can you tell us exactly how this works? Yeah, so uh, what we do is we take any 2D image or video uh, and we convert it real time into 3D. Um, so we take the 2D feed and we make it a 3D feed. Now with a 3D feed, you do need a 3D TV, right? right. So of course the $64,000 question is, well, if i got to get a 3D TV, why don't I use the built-in converter on the 3D TV? Because most have a converter built in now. That's a really good question. It's a question that we hope we get to answer for everyone because um, the bottom line is that all the built-in converters have a couple things in common. The first one is that while objects that are up close will pop, they still look like a cardboard cutout. And everything that didn't pop out is still a flat wall. Right. So what you've got is really more augmented 2D than a real 3D like we're actually able to give you. Um, not only that, but all those TV converters downscale the resolution to 720p or less, then do the bad conversion, then up, then uh, upscale scale it back to 1080p. So all those details that you thought you had from watching your movie in 3D, yeah, well, they're gone. So this is a true solution that allows for actual, It's. I mean, we saw it before, it splits the screen, yeah. and then it provides the two pieces you use, active, sh active, shutter, glass, active shutter glasses, if I can speak, uh, to actually create the effect that's going on in the TV. So what we use, we give you a valid 3D side-by-side -side feed. Side-by-side -side is the most common 3D format. Okay. So all we care is that you've got a device that's able to accept a side-by-side -side feed. If your TV requires active glasses, use active. If it requires passive, use passive. Doesn't matter to us whether you could even have a lenticular that you know the auto stereoscopic right. that doesn't require glasses. Doesn't matter to us. We're just giving you a great looking feed that looks that's actually a better quality conversion than if you were to go buy the movie in 3D or to go watch it in the theater in 3D. Well, then there's a lot of potential there because 3D is really catching on. Mike, thanks so much for the time. I really appreciate it.